my name is Candice Janae, and today we're talking about content creation strategy for business owners. So regardless of what platform you're creating content on, we're getting into content creation strategy, so stay tuned. Hey YouTube, it's Candice Janae. I'm a Christian entrepreneur, author, and speaker. I spend my time traveling, spending time with family, and creating content. I love helping women build profitable businesses, so welcome to my YouTube channel. Hey, my name is Candice Janae, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I am a content creator and business owner. Not only do I create content, over on Instagram and TikTok, but right here on YouTube. Um, I create blog content and I create lots of content across multiple different platforms, including podcasting as well. So there's so many different areas and avenues that you can create content on. So I'm gonna share with you a strategy that you can utilize for your business for content creation, regardless of what platform you are creating content on. So I'm really excited about this. Over on Instagram as it stands right now, I have 54,000 followers over there. I've also got over 50,000 followers on TikTok and have created a podcast called The Go-Getter Podcast that has had over 15, thousand downloads um really a lot of those downloads have even happened without promotion of it and so i'm going to share with you content creation tips and strategies for businesses specifically because the purpose of creating content as a business owner is ultimately to connect with your audience as well as to really move the, uh, the needle when it comes to your bottom line so we're going to get into it with content creation strategies that are going to help you generate more revenue now and in the long run because the best types of content if you ask me is evergreen content content that lives forever that's why i love content like youtube content blog content um as well as podcasting content all of those forms of content are really really great when it comes to business because people can search online or search for podcasts and look for them and they're literally right there at their fingertips so there's no limit to how people are how often people are going to be able to see this type of content it literally lives on forever of course the other content like tiktok and instagram and snapchat a lot of that content even though it lives forever um it like a post that you made you know two years ago wouldn't necessarily pop up in your content when it comes to instagram and other tools like that so that's why i really love evergreen forms of content so let's get into the actual content strategy i'm going to share with you guys literally 10 different tips that are going to help you okay number one is that you need to know the climate of whatever app that you are going to show up on. So if it's YouTube, TikTok, you know, with podcasting, you want to get an idea of what is out there and what people are doing, what are some current trends in those spaces. Um, and you want to make sure that you're being intentional about creating content that fits well within those platforms. Um, and so it's really important to know the climate when it comes to TikTok, um, TikTok kind of has changed the game recently uh, in terms of types of content that people are putting out there. People don't have to be as prim and proper as th that you may see on an Instagram or on a YouTube. Um, but TikTok has really kind of shifted the game and like they show up with their content in a different space. So my recommendation is before you get out there when you're with your content is that you really do some studying and like research on what is currently there and how you can fit into it. Um, and, and the big thing is like you don't have to do everything that you see other people doing. You can see a gap and like show up in that platform in a way that you think you know will resonate with your audience um but it's okay to try some things out and if they don't work like it's totally fine too all right so number two is to actually plan ahead when it comes to content strategy you want to make sure that you're planning ahead uh, because one of the number one things that i hear business owners say is that they struggle with consistency and really the only way to be consistent when you're creating content is to plan things out in advance so that you know clearly what you're doing what how you're moving and you know the types of content that you're going to put out there um so this is really important because especially if you're a larger you know small business or even as a smaller business um that is a small business 
even if you're a solopreneur, you really gotta plan out your content ahead of time because you know you want to know what photos you may need, you want to know what graphics you may need, you want to know like what video content you may need. So the more you plan out in advance and actually create a content plan, um, the better. I have a complete video about how to create like and plan content for Instagram, so I'll share that here. But regardless of what platform you decide to use, honestly. It's kind of the same across platforms. If you plan these things out ahead of time, you know what assets you'll need. You know if you need to tell your team or if to create graphics or if it's you creating the graphics. If you know you need to edit videos, then you know like you need to get that done. And so that's really important for having an actual plan in place so that you can move the needle forward when it comes to your business. I actually have a free content posting checklist that you'll want to use before you ever post online. This is the perfect resource for coaches, business owners, and content creators who want to post video content, regular content, and captions. You want to make sure you follow these simple steps before you ever post online so you can attract your dream audience. I use the same strategy to grow my Instagram account organically to over 54,000 followers. So if you want to get access to this, go ahead and text me directly here or head to this link and make sure you get access today. Number three is to create content that is gonna actually answer your most common questions. So a lot of times I get business owners that are like, I don't even know where to start with content ideas. I see people creating content all the time. I don't know where to even start. The best place to start is in answering questions that you get most frequently. So literally when it comes to your business, let's say you own a, a bakery, right? So maybe some people ask, you know, is it, do you have gluten-free cupcakes or do you have gluten-free options? So if that's a question that you see people asking, create content around that. Um, whatever it is that people are asking you frequently, um, you need to be creating content around it. And even if you get some weird questions sometimes, like have a place where you're writing these uh, these concepts down because if, if one person is asking it, chances are someone else is thinking it and they may not have asked or they might have thought it was a stupid question. So like you really wanna make sure that whatever questions your audience may have about your product or your service, that you wanna be answering that. Um, and a lot of times you can go out and figure out what they're asking by specifically asking them what questions they may have. But a lot of times these people are asking these questions already and you might not be taking them as opportunities to create content from. So that is one of the most important things to do is to create content based on people's regular, simple, everyday questions. Um, number four is you wanna educate your audience. And of course, uh, answering their questions is a really great way to do that, but you wanna educate your audience on your industry. You wanna educate your audience on your product, on your service. This is a really great content strategy. Why is this so important? Literally, because educated buyers make educated decisions. Educated buyers make educated decisions. And a lot of times when people are confused, they're not gonna make a purchase. Or if they're not fully certain about, you know, their, uh, the questions that they may have or if they're not certain if your product or your service is going to meet their need they may not actually make a purchase so you want to do your your due diligence of actually educating your customer and educating your audience number five is you want to excite and entertain so like your brand has to have a personality at some point like your brand can't just be this you know if your brand is serious and stiff let it be serious and stiff but at the end of the day there are so many brands out there that have brand personality i think about nike being one of the most amazing brands that we've seen you know in our generation where you know yes they sell shoes but they're like they sell this lifestyle and this mentality of like just do it it's more than just hey you know buy these sneakers and buy this you know tennis like i don't know even know if they make tennis rackets but like they're not just telling you like hey buy this stuff they're literally selling like this personality and so a lot of times we're entertained by them a a lot of times we're excited by them to do something um, and there are brands that go out of their way to educate and entertain even if you look at commercials that is content so when it comes to your content on your um, social media in particular 
you want to have entertaining content and content that excites people and a lot of times educational content is content that also excites people because they're like oh my god i didn't know that and then they start telling other people about it which is word of mouth which is gonna move the needle for your business in terms of getting more visibility and awareness in your business um number six is to repurpose your content i cannot tell you how many times um like i cannot tell you enough like how important it is to actually repurpose your content and what does that mean that means if you create a lovely youtube video like this right here you can turn this into a blog post you can turn this into um, bite-sized content for um maybe a podcast you can literally turn the audio into a snippet of content for your podcast you can literally turn it into a quote um, that tells people to, you know, go pay attention to the YouTube video. You can take bite-sized pieces of this and turn it into a reel. Whatever it is, like you can literally repurpose your content. So you do not have to recreate the wheel when you're going on different platforms. And so it's really cool um, to be able to go out of your way to like make your content literally go as far as possible. One video can be turned into so many different things. And it's really, really cool to like repurpose purpose your content. The other really cool thing is, especially if you're going like live on Instagram live or YouTube, you may be able to take that particular video that may be like, you know, 10 minutes, 30 minutes or 40 minutes or even longer. You can take that video and repurpose that content into bite sized stuff. So a lot of times what I like to do is I like to take the juiciest part of a conversation and put it at the front. Um, of my content or I'll just create content specifically around the juiciest part and that is so cool because I have seen it work really really well in business in the very same way that we see like commercials for an upcoming season of like a reality TV show let's say like my lovely Real Housewives of Atlanta or Real Housewives of you know uh uh, Potomac like I love those shows but we see the snippets they show us the juiciest part of the content and we're like oh my god I need to watch the whole thing so you're bought in because you're entertained educated or whatever by that bite-sized piece of content and so that's something that you can do is find the juiciest piece of content share that up front buy in interest and then get people into your your ecosystem of content with your strategy another really great thing um, that you can do um, number seven is to find out what people are searching um, and when you're finding out what people are searching you can use like tools like Google Trends you can sh use um, things like video IQ for like YouTube in terms of keywords there's another t tool called keywords everywhere um, that I like to utilize and answer the public there are so many other like ways that you can find out what people are searching but when you create content around what people are searching that is going to help you optimize your content to be found okay you don't want to be look creating content based on what you think people need you need to literally create content based on what you know people are looking for okay so this is one of my best pieces of content creation um a strategy um uh, tips is to literally not just repurpose that content but figure out what it is that people are actually searching and create content around that okay all right <laughs> number eight is to be consistent be consistent i cannot tell you enough how important it is to be consistent and show up on the internet consistently it's not enough to just post one time post and ghost that is not enough you need to be consistent in whatever capacity that looks like now you don't have to be posting nine times a day you don't have to be posting three times a day if you don't want but figure out what makes sense for your audience and really run with that and be confident running with that um, the more consistent the more you're going to show up across platforms um, and it's, especially if you're a solopreneur you don't have to be on every single platform but if you are a small business that has you know the capacity to you know expand your team and grow your team and be posting content across multiple channels from LinkedIn to Instagram to TikTok, Snapchat, do it, but be consistent on those platforms. If you're not 
and you don't have the capacity to do that, then figure out what you do have the capacity to do. I say maybe pick at least one evergreen platform um, to create content on like YouTube or blog content, something. I definitely think that you should create content on something that you own. Like, so I love blogging content um, and then maybe podcasting find some type of evergreen form and then find another social media platform that is kind of up and running that you know people are showing up on okay so make sure whatever you do be consistent number nine is to test things out i talked about this a lot but when it comes to your content strategy um you definitely want to make sure you test things out you can try things out for your audience everything doesn't work for everybody everything does not work for every brand um so even when it comes to like captions and what you're putting in your captions i have a complete um <laughs> entire video that i'm dedicating to how to write captions specifically for instagram and i'll make sure that it's linked here once it's available but one of the things that is really important is you want to make sure that you're testing things out so you know you may write something in a caption that doesn't really resonate you don't get a bunch of comments but then maybe you write something in a caption later and then you get a bunch of comments a bunch of, of in game engagement and then you're like wow this is working you guys can probably hear the train in the background so please forgive me but one of the really cool things is when you're creating content not everything is always going to work out as you thought it was going to work out and sometimes content goes viral and you didn't expect it to go viral so you got to figure out what the secret sauce is by testing things out figuring out what your audience likes what they don't like what they want to hear more of and create more content around that and last but not least this is my almost number one tip even though it's ending up last like i cannot say how important this is for your content strategy but utilize video across every platform possible video is honestly the way to go it's the way to connect with more people and i love video because it really a lot like you can take one video and repurpose it into so much other types of content so i literally think that like creating video content especially on platforms like instagram TikTok. YouTube, all of them are video focused, like do video. So in your content strategy, do not forget about video. Yes, static posts are great for Instagram with quotes and things like that, but do not forget about the option to create video content that actually engages your audience. So that's it for now. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I love talking about marketing, you guys already know, cause I literally don't even go from a script. I literally have my bullet points and I'm just talking to you guys and sharing you my best information and I absolutely love what I do um, and so if you guys love this and enjoy this content do me a favor and just hit that subscribe button and make sure that you're subscribed to my channel like and um, comment down below as well let me know that you subscribe to the family once you do in the comments I really appreciate that and as always I'll see you guys when I drop the next video all right bye